In this video, we will show you how to adjust a Polaris valve with the adjustment kit and the electronic reading instrument. In the adjustment kit, you will find the three instruments to perform the adjustment, as well as a quick start guide, a demonstration valve. The first instrument is the locator. It has a flat bottom with a cutout in the center in the shape of the valve. The rotating ring around the perimeter is used to select the pressure setting range of the valve being adjusted. The second instrument is the electronic compass. It has sensors that show the precise position of the implanted valve rotor and allow reliable and accurate direct reading of the pressure setting value of the valve. On top of the compass you will find an on-off button, a display screen and an arrow illustrating the flow direction to confirm that the compass is correctly inserted into the locator. Once the compass is centered, an indicator light on the top of the compass will show the current pressure setting of the valve. The third instrument is the magnet with a blue mark on the handle. It is made up of a specific assembly of magnets designed to allow the unlocking of the rotor and the adjustment of the operating pressure of the valve. First, position the patient in a comfortable way that also allows an easy access to the valve implantation site. Next, prepare the locator by selecting the correct pressure range to match the implanted valve. Here, it is the 30 to 200 millimeters of water range. Palpate the patient's valve implantation site in order to determine both the location and orientation of the valve. Using the inlet and outlet connectors as guides can be helpful. Then place the locator above the valve with its central cutout axis aligned with the valve connectors and with the arrow of the locator pointing in the direction of the CSF flow. Power on the electronic compass and insert it into the locator aligning the arrows of both instruments. The compass will require a magnetic calibration to be performed by slightly lifting the compass and reinserting it into the locator. The screen will automatically confirm the calibration and the adjustment can proceed. The compass inside the locator will now automatically localize the valve. Instructions will be displayed on the compass screen indicating the movement of the locator so that it will be positioned above the center of the valve's rotor. When the center is close, a dot will appear on the screen. Move the locator until this dot is centered in the middle of the target. Now, the instruments are centered properly above the implanted valve. Here, it is 70 millimeters of water. Next, while keeping the locator in its centered position, remove the compass and replace it with the magnet, inserting the magnet with the blue mark aligned with the current pressure setting. To adjust the valve setting, rotate the magnet until the blue mark aligns with the desired new setting. Remove the magnet and place it at least 60 centimeters away from the implantation site. Finally, confirm the new pressure setting by reinserting the compass into the locator and check that the arrow on the compass is pointing to the desired setting. In this example, the valve is set at 110 millimeters of water. Unlocking the rotor's micromagnets within the Polaris valve may be difficult if the CSF is especially viscous or contains debris, or if locating the center of the valve is imprecise. The adjustment steps are mostly identical to the standard method. Only the magnet manipulation differs. In these situations, 
performing multiple backwards and forwards movement of the magnet inside the locator along the axis of the implanted valve rotor can facilitate the unlocking of these micromagnets. Then recenter the magnet handle and follow the steps of the standard adjustment method, always finishing by confirming the new pressure setting with the compass. In some cases, the connectors can be difficult to locate, which can make it difficult to accurately position the locator. In these situations, the stop method will help you position the instruments accurately in relation to the implanted valve actual axis. Position the locator again over the implanted valve with the direction of flow arrow properly oriented and center it using the compass. The compass will indicate the apparent current pressure setting of the valve. Because this scenario involves an implanted valve whose exact flow orientation axis is uncertain, the apparent current pressure setting may not be the actual pressure setting. The stop method will eliminate this uncertainty. Insert the magnet into the locator in the axis of the apparent current pressure setting and rotate the magnet to either extreme pressure setting position, lowest or highest, and exceed that position by two clicks further. Remove the magnet. Reinsert the compass. The compass will confirm the extreme setting low or high. Using this extreme position as a known starting point, the adjustment can now be performed following the standard adjustment method. <laughs>